Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? In this window, we have three radio buttons. The, the middle one shows the current year. The This is shows the previous year and there is a next year. And these radio buttons are dynamically taking the dates. Mean if you open this window in the next year also, this will reflect the current year. Means it will change to 2023 and accordingly previous year and next year will change. Once I am selecting any one of the radio year, it generates a query. It generates a query selling this is the table name and this is the matching year for which the data is to be retrieved by using a strf time and here i am saying the four digit year to be connected and this query is generated i can change this query also moment i change this the values are the query is dynamically changed we will learn all about this let's first start with our creating the dates for that so for that import date time and then we will say what is today so this is the date object I am creating. So date time, again date time and now. So this I am creating a <coughs> date object using the current date and time. So let, now let's first take the year part. This is the current year. So today dot year. Now note that this is a this year is in a integer format. This gives us the current year and in an integer. So I, we can add or subtract to it. If you have used strf time, they would have got a string. So I would have to convert it into for any additional uh, subtraction. Now let's create. This is the current year. I'll write it here. Current year. So if you run this program after two year also, this will pick up the current year from your system. So let's say year one. We'll create two variables year one is let's give that is it is the next year equal to year plus one now year two equal to year minus one so now we have two more variables so this is the current year now one previous year uh, sorry previous year and then one next year we'll be using this to create our uh, we'll take these inputs for our kinter window we'll paste our kinter tem blank template here We'll just uh, paste it here. Okay, this is our blank window. This is the root window, and then we are given the size, dimensions, width, and height. And here we are keeping it open. Now let's uh, slightly move up. Inside this, we'll add our radio button. So for that, first we'll create a int variable or integer variable. So this will be holding the value of our years. So we'll saying int var. Now here value equal to value is will connect it to our first or current year. So it is we are saying the default value for this integer variable is the current year uh, that is whatever the current year is. Now then we we'll let's create a radio button R1 will create three radio buttons. So TK dot radio button. Now parent window my underscore W at, at the top here line number seven we are declared it so that we are using it here now what the text should go text is here will first one so first one means it is the leftmost one so previous year so we'll say year two see here year two is lot line number five year minus one so whatever the current year minus one so that will be my uh, year here so year two now what is the variable variable equal to now I am connecting it to my int var r1 v now here I have to say value what is the value for this value equal to now I will take definitely year 2 <coughs> year 2 now let's uh, that's all so I will place this in my grid here it is let's place it on the grid <coughs> so it's the leftmost one so we'll say grid we'll say row equal to 0 uh, column equal to 0 now slightly pad x will give so will not flush with the left edge of it so pad x now pad y equal to 30 means from the top edge also we are giving some gap that's all this is the first radio button is ready now let me little move up a bit here let's keep it so kinter window is there now let me just copy this twice i will place because we want to place three radio buttons here it is so r2 let me give the name as r2 and here let put r2 this is my r3 this i will put it as r3 on grid now here let me change the grid otherwise i'll forget that so here uh, here what i will say column this is 2 now 
this column to pad x y is not required because all will take one line now here i will make it column 1 so column 0 1 so one will be first one will be uh, left then next one will be right of it next one will be right of it so column 0 column 1 and here you can see column 2 now let's change the values for this so middle one i will keep it as year variable same year is also same so this is this will take the current year and note that this year will match to the value whatever it is we have created here so by default this will be this radio button will be selected now let's change this this is the next year year one now let's say year one uh, rest of the things remain same okay one more thing will to add the query we will add one uh, label so for that we'll say whatever the final output is so lb or label we are saying tk dot label and where we will place it my underscore w my parent window text initially some default text will write it so query now slightly will give background bg equal background color this is yellow background color i am giving yellow now slightly width i am maintaining width equal to 50 you can change it as per your dime suiting your dimension and all let me place the grid uh, on the grid so grid now row equal to 1 because row 0 all the three radio buttons we have placed so below that so row equal to 1 then column equal to 0 so this let it be at the leftmost column but here because the text will whatever will be query writing it will more so we'll expand it by giving column span column span equal to let's it's ex, let it expand up to 3 pad x equal to uh, slightly will not flushing it with the left edge width also you are given now that completes our layout let's just run it whether see how this uh, our window looks here it is you can see three radio buttons i can select it by default it has picked up 2022 because that is what the current year and i can change it to any value so whenever i change dynamically this should display the query now we'll trigger the our whatever the based on the <coughs> selection the moment the radio button is selected one function will trigger for that we'll say r1v or our uh, int variable now trace method this trace method <coughs> takes three parameters when the variable is created when the variable is destroyed or when the variable is changed we'll use this particular w means when the value is changed what it will do is my update my update is a function which we will be creating now so this what happens whenever you change the radio button when I click the radio button this uh, st uh, this integer variable changes so this will trigger this function this uh, if you are familiar with other web thing we call it uh, on click event so this is the same as that so now let's define the function here it is our function my update is the function and all the arguments we are passing it whatever is there all arguments now inside this we'll write our code here first let's <coughs> generate the query so we are giving declaring a variable string variable saying select star from our table name is whatever your in your case whatever table name is from my tasks okay now let's go to our next room my task sorry next line where we are replacing where strf time so we are converting into our date column to the string uh, <coughs> so for that what you are saying is now in the we are specifying the format we are pulling out the year part of our date column so this is what we are saying is now from the date column here is the dt is our date column collect the year part year part in four digit uppercase y so it is four digit uh, year and strf time is converting it into a giving it as a string so equal to now this should be equal to now what is now let me because it's a string i must start with a single quote here then a string addition plus now i'll say r1 underscore v dot get now what this is that selected radio button value suppose the middle one is there then the current year if the left side is clicked then the previous year if it is year is 22 minus 1 21 year 21 will be picked up in four digit by the way and this particular value i'll add it but here is one issue will come because all my these values are all are string 
so sorry they are integer i have to convert it to string because strf time returns the string only so i am just using str to convert it into a string plus now once i am giving now i will end my code so for that purpose i am just giving single quote that's all my uh, string addition is ready if you want my query is ready if you want you can print it to your console it's not necessary because we are printing it to uh, our label also now here but uh, okay it is printing to our console only you it is for your testing because anyway this is uh, will be adding it to our label uh, lb here at the label we have declared at line number 19 label what that label we are configuring the text part of it config now uh, config means any attribute you can change it uh, to a value we can change this is for the all the any wizard so config or it can be configure so now let's say text equal to query now i am saying display this text uh, whatever the variable query is that's all let me just give a little gap here here is my function that's all let's just test it if there is no error fine yeah no error now 22 now let me just tell to 23 see here select star from my task where strf time is equal to ydt 2023 now i can change it to let's say 21 here dynamically the year is picked up and it is 21 now current year suppose is 22 so 22 it will come up that's all like that you can build and to this also we can add other thing a combo box or a drop down com list box so what happens the month you can add and other things so that dynamically you can create the query that is the purpose why we have uh, we are understanding this part of it we have already discussed how we'll pick up the month all this will integrate and create a dynamic query where you will be a uh, user can select a month select a year and then apply the query so that's the next part we will integrate it uh, this query so the that's all we'll stop here just practice this and uh, i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and please if you have any doubt suggestion and question use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching